juncture, honorable senators, you must be holding your card, your delegate card, in your hands. Sergeant at Arms, you are waiting for your signal. Good. Now, honorable senators, proceed to log back. Log back into the delegate units. So before you proceed to vote, I will now put the question, which is that whereas pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution and Section 33 of the County Governments Act, on Wednesday, 25th of October 2023, the Meru County Assembly approved a motion to remove the, from office by impeachment Honorable Mangaza the governor of Meru County. Whereas by a later reference aims Strokers Volume 4, Stroke 43, dated the 26th of October 2023, and received in the office of the Speaker of the Senate on Friday, 27th of October 2023, the Speaker of Meru County Assembly informed the Speaker of the Senate of the approval of a motion by the County Assembly and further forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate documents in evidence of the proceedings of the assembly. Further, whereas pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 80 of the Senate, the Senate had the County Assembly on the grounds for removal from office by impeachment of Honorable Kawira Mungaza, the Governor of Meru County. And further, whereas pursuant to Article 181, of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 80, the Senate also had the Honorable Kawira Mwangaza on the grounds for her proposed removal from office by impeachment as the Governor of Meru County. Now, therefore, Honorable Senators, pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33 of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 80, the Senate resolves to remove from office by impeachment, the Honorable Kawira Mangaza, the Governor of Meru County, on the following charges. Charge 1, misappropriation and misuse of county resources. Charge 2, nepotism and related unethical practices. Charge 3, bullying, vilification, and demeaning other leaders. Charge number 4, illegal appointments and usurpation of statutory powers. Charge number 5, contempt of court. Charge number 6, illegally naming a public road after her husband, and lastly, charge number seven, contempt of the assembly. Honorable senators, I further guide that we shall have a separate vote for each charge. There will therefore be seven separate votes. We shall now proceed to vote starting with charge number one misappropriation and misuse of county resources. You may proceed to vote.
Honorable Senators, after you voted, you sit in silence. Now, honorable senators, we shall move to charge number two, nepotism and related unethical practices. You may proceed to vote. to charge number three, bullying, vilification, and demeaning other leaders. You may proceed to vote. Honorable Senators, we now move to charge number four, illegal appointments and usurpation of statutory powers. You may now proceed to vote. Honorable Gataya, you're out of order, and I call you to order.
Honorable Senators, we shall now move to charge number five, contempt of court. You may proceed to vote. Six, illegally naming of a public road after her husband. You may proceed to vote. Now, honorable senators, we shall proceed to the last charge. Now, to the members of public, depending on which side you are, and depending on how the voting will be done on this last charge, you must be silent. To the parties, it matters not the outcome of the vote on the last charge. You must be seated in silence. To the members who are seated in the speaker's gallery, it matters not the outcome of the vote on the last charge. You must sit in silence. Charge number seven, contempt of the assembly. Senators, you may now proceed to vote.
Senator Siengu. Take a seat. Honorable Senators, the results of the division are as follows. Charge number one, misappropriation and misuse of county resources. Eyes 19, nays 28. The nays have it. Charge number two, nepotism and related unethical practices. Eyes five, nays 42, abstain zero, the nays have it. Charge number three, bullying, vilification and demeaning other leaders. Eyes three, nays 44, Abstain, zero, the nays have it. Charge number four, illegal appointments and, us and usurpation of statutory powers. The ayes, 20 votes, nays, 27 votes. Abstain, zero vote, the nays have it. Charge number five, contempt of court. The ayes, three votes. The nays, 44 votes. Abstain, zero. So the nays have it. Charge number six. Illegally naming a public road after her husband. Ayes, four votes. The nays, 43 votes. Abstain, zero. So the nays have it. Charge number seven, contempt of the assembly. Ayes, 10 votes. Nays, 37 votes. Abstain, zero, so the nays have it. Now, honorable senators, section 33.7 of the County Governments Act provide as follows. If a majority of all members of the Senate vote to uphold any impeachment charge, the governor shall cease to hold office. Honorable Senators, the result of the division indicate that the Senate has not upheld any of the impeachment charges. Pursuant to Article 181 of the Constitution, Section 33.8 of the County Governments Act, and Standing Order 87 of the Senate Standing Orders, the Senate has failed to remove from office by impeachment Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, the governor of Meru County. And the governor accordingly continues to hold office. You may now withdraw the bars and open the doors. Now to the parties you shall stay seated as the senators exit the chamber. Likewise, the people who are in the public gallery, you will stay seated as the senators leave the chamber. And for those who are seated in the public gallery, you shall stay seated as the senators leave the chamber. Honorable senators, you may now rise. <laughs> 